Hi, Aries. Okay, you guys ready? Aries, sun, moon, and rising for May 2018. All right, let's do this. I'm also, um, I've, I've lit a green candle to send healing properties to all of those who need healing, okay? If you need more healing, Archangel Raphael is the Archangel who provides healing. So if that's something that you want to do and or you want to pray for someone, you pray to Archangel Raphael, okay? All right, let's do this. Aries, sun, moon, and rising for the month of May 2018. One more shuffle. I'm using the gilded tarot, okay? I know I said one more, but it's got to feel right. Yeah, and now it does. That's it, right there. All right, so this month <clears throat> for Aries, send us clear messages and... Um, and direction and guidance for all of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, I'm gonna do this month, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do three piles of cards, okay? And then we're gonna allow that story to unfold as it wishes, as it wants, as, you know, as the universe wants to tell you what messages it has for you. Okay, so here's the deal. So there is a karmic completion that's clearly needing to happen and it, it's, it's inevitable. It's one of those things that just, it's gonna happen. You may, not, you may not feel very comfortable with it, but it is gonna happen. And you're not feeling, you can see these, right? Yeah. Um, and with the Four of Cups, you're a little, you're a little dissatisfied is the word that I'm hearing. You're dissatisfied that the cup that you offered someone has not been accepted. And the reason why it hasn't is because it's karmic, okay? It is, and sometimes things like that just happen. So you're no longer going to worry about it you're not holding back anymore. Yeah, here you are. And you're still not moving. You're not moving forward, but you're not holding back either, okay? You're kind of in limbo, Aries, right now. Yeah, you are you need some strength. You need to chill. You need time for yourself, okay? And then you will be victorious. So whatever this ending that's in that karmic ending that's gonna happen, it will be inevitable. And it's also going to stabilize you. Yeah, because when one ending happens, a new one begins. So once you, once you can gain enough strength to see that this karmic ending is, is something that is inevitable, you will be victorious. And then now you're able to move forward, okay? So you're gonna move forward with a new love and it's going to be one that's very, you're not gonna have to question it. There is no question about this. Um, you're still feeling some remnants of your past. You know, like everyone, you know, there's always baggage that you, that you kind of like, you know, we all carry some baggage in life. But if you let that, if you let that go, because that's your ego. This is your ego saying, oh gosh, I really got, I still feel like, you know, I'm carrying so much pain from the past. But if you, that's your ego. So during the moon phase, which is actually today, Today's pink moon, 
you may just drop all of these wands and say, okay, I'm done. Because now you want to move forward with some really good, you know, clear direction. You do have the King of Cups in reverse, which just means that um, you may be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If indeed that's not the case, then it just means that that you have come to a certain point in your uh, in your life where you're like emotionally done. You're just, you've kind of like just emotionally I'm done. I'm going to start a new direction in my life. And now I have, you know, hey, the world is your oyster now. You can go wherever you want. You can, you can travel. You can, you can be with whoever you want, but you're just not allowing that to happen yet. You're still pondering over the, the past. You are. You have the chance to move forward and you're not doing it because you're so focused on this past that didn't work out and no one's talking about it. It's kind of like no one's talking. You don't want to talk. They don't want to talk. You can't move forward. Yeah, you're still like this. So it's really affecting you. So emotionally, this is really still affecting you, Aries. And you already know that you've got, you know you, you, know you want to offer this cup of love. You do. You so want to offer this. You so want to offer this. You just want this happy family. You want, you want the whole thing. You want, you want it all. And who doesn't? But there's a karmic ending that, that is something that, okay, so karmic endings happen because they weren't meant to stick around. That's how it goes. They're karmic. That's why you call it karmic. It's something, someone had to learn a lesson. There's a, it could have been you had a past life with someone and that karmic lesson has been learned and now it has to go. It could have been in this lifetime, someone came in your life, came and went, and you're like, what the heck happened just now? That's karmic, okay? It could have been that you had a relationship with someone long ago and, and you walked away from the relationship and now they're coming back to give an offer to you and they don't want it, okay? It could be several scenarios. Something's coming in quick now, communication. Maybe you've had enough. Okay, so now we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, upright, which is the queen, which means you're feeling better. You're starting to feel better. There's movement going on. But maybe your finances are upside down. Maybe you don't know where you're headed toward a business venture, so you're confused. Maybe you have a King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your midst, and this is how the cards look. So this Capricorn's waiting for you to make your next move. I don't know what that means. It could be a business situation or a personal situation, but it is coming. It is some information Maybe it could be over the internet. You, This person or you may see something on the internet that causes you to, you know, question it. Let's see what's going on. What is it? Yeah. So there's no more, there's no more mental anguish. Um, these two could be exterior to you and um, either business partnership or this could be someone who's standing in the way of your happiness. I don't know. Only you know that because it's not a personal reading, right? But we'll just keep going. So you're not in your head anymore. You're not turning this wheel though. Aries, you're still not getting, you're still not turning this around. It will turn, but the ending of that karmic ending has to happen. So it could be a divorce coming through that needs to be finalized. It could also mean that you are dealing with someone who wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. 
because this is what the energy of this king stands for. And or the other person. Yeah, you want, you want to rectify this. You want to know what the heck's going on. You're not so much in your head about it as much as you are. Listen, if you just explain what this karmic ending is about, then I'll, understa I'll understand it and it can be justified. You also could be dealing with a Libra. It's possible. And here you go. Now you can move forward, right? You don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you've got, here's the eight of cups, okay? Someone walks, someone's walking away, whether you, whether you know it, whether you like it or not. Oh, it did go like this. This is how it came out. So someone's offering their cup again. You're, you're going to try again because Aries, you are persistent. You're going to try again, but someone's looking out saying, I've got my, I've got my situation now set on something else. I'm out. Maybe you did get the justice and now you're able to walk away and offer your cup to someone else. But however it happens, when you have these two cards together, you will get your wish. It may not be the actual wish that you were hoping for, but it will be a wish that will manifest for you. But you got to let go of the past. You have to. So... You're not seeking spiritual, you're not speak, seeking enlightenment because you already took the time, You've, you have had time to think. You have had time to, to understand it, even though this is reversed. You don't understand it, but there's like you're saying to yourself, okay, well, I don't understand what's going on, but... I also don't have any choice in the matter. I have to go on and move on in my life. That's what Aries do. They have to move on. They don't sit still. You guys are the movers and shakers of the universe, of the zodiac, I meant, and the universe, right? You're the ram. And so you don't want to be alone anymore, and you want to offer your cup to someone. So you're going to manifest it in some way, shape, or form. It's going to happen. You're going to do it. You're going to say, okay. And then you've got this. So there's, so, okay. So this karmic ending has, has addiction of some sort to it, like codependency, sexual addiction, gambling addiction, you know, whatever addiction is that you can think of. That's why you can't let it go. It's hard to let go of an addiction. It's not easy. There is no judgment here. It's just not easy. When you get in a relationship that you're addicted to, obsessed about, so use your intuition instead, and now you need to take the rest. Yeah, so that's what the universe is asking you to do, Aries. The universe is asking you to take a much needed rest and really, really assess where this is coming from. Because this is, this is really huge, you guys. This is huge. What, where is this coming from? Is it codependency? Are you dependent on someone for what? For financial stability, for comfort, for sex, for money, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. But this is not building a relationship that's going to be stable it's based on it's based on addiction so you really have to take you got to take a break you got to think about what what patterns have formed this is this is karmic this relationship that you're dealing with is a karmic relationship now those of you are who are married this is obviously not applying to you not unless you have a, a partner who is, has some sort of an addiction that you're trying to, you know, come to terms with so that you can understand it and hopefully not enable them, if that's the case, 
so that you can be, you know, whole within yourself. At least if at least if you take a break and try to understand what, let's say, if this is your your partner, whoever has the addiction, you're trying to understand it. And once you understand it, then you can just say, okay, I'm understanding it now better. I may not, you know, I may not like it, but I understand it. And then use your intuition on how to proceed. If that is, you know, someone you've been in, maybe in a marriage and or a relationship that even though it is karmic, some ending. So it doesn't necessarily mean the karmic ending of a relationship if you are married. If you are married and or partnered, it means that there's addiction within that marriage and or partnership and that that person, if that person is not like admitting to their addiction or obsession or gambling, whatever it is, there you need to understand it for yourself. And the ending is maybe if you are with someone who has this addiction, let's say it's alcohol, you not only do you need to understand it and take take a really close look and maybe read up on what that means to a person what because it all means something so if it is an alcoholic addiction let's just say aries if it is someone who drinks too much then you're dealing with someone who wants to numb their feelings and doesn't want to you know they don't want to accept their reality and so you need to take a step back and you need to see whether or not this is what you want in your life. If in case this is a married couple and or um, either marriage or living situation. But you can use your intuition and gain some, gain some insight about the, the addiction itself. Because if, you know, knowledge is power. If you can at least understand it, then maybe you can come to terms with it and be at peace with it, because that's what this is. Being at peace with the understanding and using your intuition now, understanding it more and gaining more knowledge about why that person has this in, in their, you know, in them. It is, it, some of it is inherent in their DNA, right? I mean, it does skip a generation, but addiction is very predominant in most every relationship, even friendships. I mean, we are human beings here. So it could mean that, I mean, this could be the culprit of, it is, right? It's the culprit of every relationship gone bad. You know, relying on someone for something that you know as as an individual you should be relying on yourself for. So if this is someone in your sphere, then you just need to educate yourself more and understand where this comes from and why someone is, you know, is, is let's just say, addicted to alcohol, sex, what have you. If you can understand it, then you can figure out how you're going to proceed forward. And I'm, And for some reason, I need to explain that because someone needs to hear this. Okay, you can't just, sometimes you just can't walk away from something just because of that reason. If you at least gain knowledge about that, then you can say, okay, now, now where do we go from here? I did go on a rant about it. I did. It is in a home situation. It is. It's a home situation. And then you're understanding it. Now you can proceed with, you know, move forward. Figure out where you want to go from here. Okay? Where do you want to go from here? Do you want to move forward and start working on something that is, maybe you want to work on the relationship. Maybe you want to work on helping that person, if that's the case. Or maybe you're just ignoring it and saying, okay, so I can't change anything here in my home in my home, but I certainly can change myself and just do find an, an outlet and work on like work on something that I have a really great passion for, be it a job, be it finding the knowledge to help someone else. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's going to be okay. 
All right, so the middle row has now been depleted in cards, okay? And we stopped at this new passionate beginning, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a business venture, but whatever you're going to begin doing in the month of May with the understanding, taking a step back with the understanding of what's going on in your world and why you put it there, right? Because you, we all put people and circumstances in our lives for a reason. So you can't blame this card for coming out because somewhere along the line, this is in your, you put, you put it there. It's a mere reflection of, of a behavior that's innately within you as well as if it is exterior to you. I hope you are following me on that. If not, uh, listen to this again. All right, so we have a new passionate beginning. All right, I'm going to look at the bottom of this deck now that we're done. And the new passionate beginning, it could be going back to school. Maybe you're thinking about it, but you haven't done anything yet about it. This is about starting something new, but not knowing exactly what that's going to be. This is about going to school and saying, I don't really know what I'm really passionate about yet. I need to think about it. I need to see where I want to go. And wherever you go, Aries is going to be blessed by the heavens. Because why? Because you've done the work. Because you understand more of, uh, you're going to understand. This could be that you're getting ready to educate yourself on this, this whole karmic situation and the addiction part of someone who's obsessive, codependent on whatever it is. Now you're going to move forward and say, okay, now I need to start something new. And what I need to start new is going to be something that I'm really passionate about. And I don't care. I'm doing it. And the heavens are saying, yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to put these up here. Okay, so that's the outcome of the spread. Now, let's do the romance because we didn't really talk about romance. We did a little. We did because there is a karmic ending going on for some of you. Some of you are in relationships that clearly need to end and you're going to need to accept it. It and it, and once you accept the ending, guys, once you accept the ending, you know, new love's coming in. New love is waiting for you. You need to release your ex. It says it right here. Okay? So once you release and let go, and then you get into an educational part of why is this happening? It's, you know, look at yourself, because this is about you, and understand with, you know, getting, getting, absorbing the knowledge, getting the knowledge, absorbing it, understanding it, right? Then you can move forward and put people in your sphere, in your circle, that are clearly meant to be there. A karmic relationship is not on the same vibration as you. A karmic relationship is someone who has outgrown the other. They've lear learned their lesson and now they're moving forward, whoever that may be. So, so karmically, sometimes you just have to just say, okay, I'm letting it go and what do I have to do? If this is really a great love that you've had in your life for friendship, love, whatever it is, you need to heal. Okay? So healing's required here. For those who are in that kind of a cycle. And then you can bring in, you can call in a soulmate that is on the same vibrational level that you are. And then you can move forward in your life. Okay, let's get three cards for romance, for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, come on. So there's codependency. That's what the devil card was. The addiction is codependence. Codependence could be financial, could be just, oh my God, it, we've, been, we've been in this relationship for so long and I've known you all my life and... I just can't let you go. Or it could just be, I'm so obsessed with you and I, I, you have to release. That's it. 
you have to release. And once you release this codependence, the idea of being in love, the idea of the love that you think you deserve, the universe has a new plan for you, Aries, and it's a new love. It's in your midst in May. If you let go of this codependency, a new love is right there waiting for you. And there are romantic feelings going on here. And this is a, this, look at the angel behind his head, right? And I mean, this is a relationship that's in sync with one another. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad. I'm not. But any foundation that's built upon any addictions such as codependency is not going to do anything but but the tower effect. It's going to end at some... And here's the deal, okay? Listen up. This is really important. If you're in a relationship that's codependent on any level, if you don't release this, guys you are going to stay in this cycle for the next seven, nine, 12 years. It, let's just say, I don't know exactly what the, the, the next, I think it's like the next 12 years, if I'm not mistaken. Or you could say, huh, I could be in a healthy, romantic, new love situation and I've already healed, I've looked at myself, I understand what's going on with you or the other person, and I've released, I've let go, I've forgiven, and now I can move forward with my life. It's as simple as that. I know it's not simple. I shouldn't say that because it's not. It's taken me years to heal. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to use, this was the Doreen Virtue Oracle Romance romance cards, okay? Now I'm going to use the Ascended Masters cards and get one, and I'm getting a yes. Ganache says yes. So now I'm, now I'm going to ask the Ascended Masters to just give us one summary card for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of May, okay? What is the one message, Ascended Masters, that, that will tie up this whole reading and thank you and it's this one so be persistent in finding in your findings be persistent in learning what you need to learn about codependency okay study it are you the one codependent is someone codependent on you it doesn't matter because the addiction card came up in your spread. So if you educate yourself about why this addiction of codependency came up, you need to see clearly why this is in your, in your world. What part of you is codependent? Even if it's the other person codependent for whatever reason, it's still part of you. It's the mere reflection of what you represent. So look up codependency in terms of if you don't know, I'm not saying people don't know what codependency means. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying look into what codependency, what part of codependency does this fall in your life, Aries. Look it up and get real with yourself. I'm not trying to be mean, but once you can clear this, you can have the love that you so desire. Okay? Because it's right here waiting for you. Okay? So be persistent. Don't just say, oh yeah, okay, so she said, you know, she said that there's some codependency in my relationship. It's and what's going to happen? It's karmic. That's what that means. This codependency is karmic. Why? Because it's not built on a sturdy foundation. It never was. Or the person you're dealing with. They're not vibing on the same level as you. Or you're not vibing on the same level as them. Either way you slice it, karmic relationships 
that are based upon addictions don't last. That's it. And if you can't release it, the universe will take it away from you. It's just that simple because the universe, the universe wants you to have this, Aries. This is what the universe wants you to have. You, you deserve this. You deserve this. So why wouldn't you want this? Why wouldn't you say, I'm starting over again and, you know, the sky's the limit. But I do know one thing. When I start over again from the beginning with a new love, it has to have this passionate, it has to have passion. And not just, we're not talking sex. We're talking, it has to have passion. It has to be romantic. Whatever... It is that you want, Aries. You can have it. Okay? So look it up. Take, take time to find out why this, this is in your world. Because this is in your world for you to do one of two things. You could say, okay, yeah, like I said. You could say, hey, I'm, I'm going to just sweep it under the carpet. And I don't care about this new person potentially coming in because I want what I want. But, or you could say, you know what? She may have a point. I may be obsessed. I may be addicted to something that's not good for me. The person I am with may not be the person that's good for me and my highest good. Making me a better person is what I want. And this clearly doesn't, doesn't do that. So maybe just looking into it. Gaining some knowledge. Gain some knowledge about it. And heal. Most definitely. Take time to heal, Aries. You got to start understanding that th the things that you've manifested in your world are there for you to learn from. Not for punishment, okay? So take time, enjoy. I wish you the best for the month of March and I'll see you in June. Be blessed.